Hello friends, Rekhan Pichwan. Friends, you all are aware, even the normal people of the country who, are, who doesn't have any nexus with the legal field, they are also aware that the parliament has brought three ordinance, or oh sorry, three bills before the parliament to amend the IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act of the India. It means the whole criminal justice system of the nation. So before that, I would like to tell all of you that I have undergone with the Code of Criminal Procedure, that is Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Adhiniyam and the Indian Evidence Act, Bharatiya Sarch Adhiniyam 2023. I have compared the previous acts with this, uh, is, is with this updated act and it is nobody knows, but I'm telling you that in the Code of Criminal Procedure, the whole sections, the subsections and the provisions, same has been copied in the new act. For example, suppose in the section, uh, in the earlier code, there was a section 436A. It, because it was came through the amendment, that is why the A is there. Now in the new act, wherever the subsections, the A, B, C has been given of any sections, those has been converted into a particular section. So has been given a particular identity of a section, recognition as a section. That is the reason of increasing the number of section. Number one thing. Number two thing, that what are the major changes that has been taken uh, in the new code? I'm coming to that. Earlier, I filed the petition before the Supreme Court for strengthening the criminal investigation system of India. The forensic science, I requested to brought the forensic science, forensic investment and technical uh, equipments, modern equipments, which, which should be used before the investigation, like for recording of the witnesses exam deposition. It, it should be, it should have been done with the videography. Like when the police approaches the crime scene, the crime scene has to be protected and has to be videographed so that all the uh, uh, contemporary circumstances, materials, which have, which has to be available before the scene is to be taken care of the protected and be traced by the agencies but it is it was not being done so i filed a petition and that change has been brought up before this new law they have amended the section the previous one section 157 which is which talks about the procedure of investigation and in the newly act the section 176 which talks about the investigation the manner of investigation by the police here you will see that it, it has been mandatory done by the parliament that it is mandatory that whenever the offense is committed which is punishable beyond seven years then the forensics experts visits is necessary to went on the scene to for the purpose of tracing of evidences for the purpose of recovering the scene for the purpose of preserving the scene for the purpose of videography of the scene this has been mandatory by section 176.3 of the new bharatiya Nagri sahita 2023 Suraksha sahita and the second change has been taken by the, this code like we must have been the read in section 161 of the previous code that the examination of witness how the examination of witness has been done by the police officer under section 161 in the newly called it has been again with our petition through the reference of our petition where we have mentioned that because of the written statement where it, it is found it is not it is not disputed the police used to make their own statement their own case story and get the take the sign of on the blank paper of the witnesses so this kind of situation was arises earlier so now i requested the supreme court that if the statement will be taken in a videography mode with the mobile phone whatever mode then the chances of tempering with the statements of the witnesses under section 161 will be reduced and these statements, though it is not reliable in the Indian Evidence Act, but for the purpose till the investigation is complete, till the charge, uh, till the trial is started, this is being used for considering in the bail applications. So now they have brought this section that all the evidences, oh sorry, all the statement which is to be recorded by the police from the witnesses nearby the crime scene or whatever, it may be recorded through audio video modes. So these two are the major changes which has been brought before the new code. And one change has been came in the uh, section 154 of the previous code, that is FIR. Now the section has been changed and what has been changed I'm telling you that now you can inform the police about the commission of a cognizable offense by electronic mode, by phone call, by telephone or by email. But what is the important that within three days of the information you must have visited the police station to recognize, to validate the information that you have given it. Otherwise then it will be registered. And the concept of zero FIR also has been enacted that you can uh, make your complaint FIR registered anywhere across the country which, wa which was the interpretation of section 154 earlier but which was not being followed by various police officers but now it's mandatory that zero FIR is there. So these are the things that has been major changes I have uh, in the, my hand in section. These are the previous sections which are uh, 5 or 50. Uh, only five, 5 sections have been changed. And what has been changed, the next one is the uh, trial in the absence of accused. It means in the absence of accused means in the heinous offense where even after declaring the accused as a proclaimed offender, even after the attachment has been made of his property, but still he is not co um, coming for the trial. No, uh, neither the investigation agency, the police of India can take him brought before the India. In that provision, the trial in the absence of the accused has been provided in the new court. And 
it was also important that the persons uh, who committed the offense who undergoes as under trial prisoners in the jail whenever their uh, matter is taken for before any day in the court then those prisoners used to brought before the court because it's a provision under section 273 that the evidence must be done in the presence of the accused so earlier it was done physically now through this court it has been uh, mandated mandated means it has given an option that you can also uh, take the uh, sorry appearance of that accused person on a videography it means virtual meet this provision is given so this is important and uh, Thank you. These all are the actually main important sections which has been amended, and there are so I by request that this section which has been changed because I, what I'm saying that the content are the similar only five to section six change has been changed. In that scenario, the whole act should not have been rearranged because it it is causing a immense disturbance in the mind of lawyer, the law students, the etc. etc. All the stakeholders because now the section has to be uh, very difficult to learn. Uh, if they would have done what they would have done, if they would have only changed the newly sections. Through their amendment, and they must have repealed the old section which they need to need, had repealed. Then it could have been a different scenario. It could have been a better just to make the full just to make full to the Indians they have done it. Okay, thank you.